there is the first case. The first case is no pupil pass all the subject. That is x equals to zero. Or oh, this one, this 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 case here. This case here. All x equal to zero. All fail, 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 fail. All the four of them fail, right? So if all the four of them fail, hmm, so it will be this case, x equal to zero. x equal to zero is f, f, f. How many f, f, f are there? You go through here, only this one. Only this one, right? Only this one. Only one case. So the probability is fail, 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 fail. How many times fail? Four times. So it is 0 0.41 to the power of 4. 0 0.41 to the power of 4 okay second case okay second case here the second case is only one pupil pass all the subject one pupil pass all the subject means x equals to one x equals to one now x equals to one there are four cases okay one two three Four, four cases. Uh, listen carefully. Huh? What are the four cases? Success, fail, fail, fail. Fail, success, fail, fail. Fail, fail, success, fail. Fail, 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 success. Does this ring any bell? What does this SFF, FSS Sorry, FSFF, FFSS. What, what does this remind you of? What does this remind you of? This remind you of arrangement of four objects. Out of these four objects, three of them are identical. The three identical ones, they are FFF. So you see that we have here FSFF. FFSF. Now, these are the arrangement of four objects of which three are identical. So, if you count them, the number of ways of arranging them, it is actually four factorial divided by three factorial divided by one factorial. This is for three identical objects. But if you look at this number, four factorial divided by three factorial, is actually 4C1 and the value of 4C1 is 4. The value of 4C1 is 4. So if we want to find the probability of x equals to 1, so it will be 1 success, 3 failure. 1 success, 3 failure. That means 0 0.59 one time. 0 0.41 we have three times and how many cases are there there are all together four cases how do i know four cases now i count here already four factorial divided by three factorial divided by one factorial answer is 4c1 answer is 4. so next time you want to find the probability no need to draw the three diagram you just write like that. Probability of x equal to 1, 4c1, success one time, failure three times. And you will get the probability of x equals to 1. Any questions so far? No teacher. Yeah. No question. No question, then we are going to look at the another case. This case is two pupils pass all the subjects. Two pupils pass all the subject means x equals to 2 because x is the number of pupils that pass all the subjects. So you want two pupils pass all the subject means you want x equals to 2. Okay, now if you want x equals to 2, how many ways can you have it? Oh, that means you want x equals to 2, that means you must have two success and two failure. Two success is SS, two failure, FF. Then how many of cases, how many cases are there for x equal to two? 
I, I count S F S F S F F S F S S F F S F S F F S S. So all together there are six cases. Now is there any shortcut to find how many cases are there? Do I need to always list out like this, then look at the distribute at, at the tree diagram to find how many cases? No need to look at the tree diagram of, to find out how many cases are there. All you need to do is these are four objects, four objects, and you two of them are identical, another two also identical. So we use four factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial. This two factorial is for the S, this two factorial is for the F. So in this way, I can count the number of cases where X is equals to two. And this number 4 factorial, 2 factorial, 2 factorial is actually 4C2. Although it is the perm in permutation, it is arrangement of identical objects. But this number in permutation is similar to the number in combination. And this number is 4C2. So I use my calculator, I get 6. If I use the identical permutation, it's also 6. So, in order to find the probability of x equals to 2, I write down, oh, success 2, 0, 5, 9, 0, 5, 9, 2 success. 2 success means 2 failure, 0, 4, 1, 0, 4, 1. How many cases like this? From my calculation here, they are all together 6 cases. So, I use 6 times 2 success. 2 failure. 6 times 2 success, 2 failure. And what is it equals to? It's equals to 4C2. The number of ways is 4C2. Success is 2 times. If success 2 times, failure must be 2 times because the total 4 times. So next time, you don't have to go and add up all the probability here. You just write down 4C2 success 2, failure 2, and you will get the answer. Any questions so far? This is, no, this is called binomial distribution. The distribution of probability according to the discrete random variable is called the binomial distribution. Okay? Now we look at the case where x is equal to where x is equals to 3. Okay? 3 pupils pass all the subjects. x equals to 3. Now, x equals to 3 means what? x equals to 3 means success 3 times, failure 1 time. Although they count the number of success, but hidden there is also the failure. If you have 3 success, because you are choosing 4 students, if you have 3 success, that means there is 1 failure. So, it is all together uh, arrangement of three identical objects